What up, Tube? In the garage today, uh, working on the truck a little bit. We got a radiator, so we can finally uh, start mocking up where the radiator's going. I need to mock up the front cab mount still. Um, I needed my radiator before I could do that, and I'm gonna show you why. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> So what I need to do is get that radiator, some mounts in there. It's a little wide. Um, I knew that going in. Ordered one that was a couple inches short from the from the stock one. That way we can get it to fit in there. Um, I need to make, basically what I wanna do is I wanna cut out all the inner structure holding the front end together and put some new inner structure so that I can make room for the radiator. Once I get the, at, that structure cut out, I can make some front mounts for the cab because right now it's just sitting tack welded by that plate on either side. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. There's two of these mounts here. What I ordered is way shorter, but a little bit wider. And uh, that's okay, because I'm gonna remove this and build a new bracing support in here. That way I have more room. So I'm gonna use some square stock that I have laying around the garage here. You can see it over here. Some nice heavy duty square stock. It'll be way stronger than what they did at the factory anyway. So I used some cardboard. I cut the cardboard up the same width and I'm gonna make my template. So I already cut it out. Basically, this is what one side's gonna look like. We'll tie it into the bottom of the whole assembly and it'll sit in there. Weld that fast in, it'll be nice and strong. This piece will actually come all the way across to the other side. That way I can cut all of this out and uh, have lots of room. After I do that, I'll have the, the whole front clip kind of reworked and then we can figure out how to make our, our body mounts. I'm gonna cut out some of this square stock so that uh, I can make that rad support. Let me show you what I'm doing. So here's my cardboard template. Here's the square stock that I want to use. I already got this one marked. As you can see, I already did one. I welded it up already. That way if I mess up, it's not on camera. <laughs> anyway, so basically I'm making these side pieces out of one piece. I got my cardboard template minus this little section I'm not doing, it just came straight up. So what I'm gonna do is I have this marked. I'm gonna square this off. This will be the top section here. This where I have marked is where this bend is. And what I'll do is I'll remove some steel. I measured off, got the right angle on this piece already. Sorry, this measurement's correct. Use my trusty square. measurements all the way around so I know what section of steel to remove so I'll remove that wedge there and then I'll give it a bend and weld it back together and then we'll cut this angle in the bottom cut that angle so it sits proper and we'll come up with this guy here so while that's sitting so while that sits, we'll have two of these on either side and then a piece on the top. These weld in at the bottom to my cab mounts and weld to the core support at the top. So. So here's our first cut. We got that pie cut there. We need a little bit of room so that we have somewhere to weld. And we'll bend that 
in to match that. And I just squared that off. So I'm gonna bend these together, get these to match perfectly, and then cut this angle at the bottom. And I'll have those two done. So here we are all welded up. This one I already cleaned. We got two pieces fit together. One for either side. Nice weld on there. That side didn't need welded because it was just a bend. That side I welded the ground a little. Just gotta clean that up a little bit more. <clears throat> it's important that when you weld something like this, if you notice, in the last little spot before I welded it, I left a gap there. That way I had somewhere for that weld to lay into. Then you get a penetration all the way through and a nice burn. You can see that bluing in the steel goes out a good decent way. Um, so I know that it's solid. I'm not super concerned about these being perfect, but a really good penetration is good. We want those strong because that's going to hold up the whole weight the front of the, the truck on the body mounts. So these, <clears throat> are gonna lay in here, that's upside down. Better view of that. Say so yeah, it ties right down into our body mount, and then that bar gets welded, stitched into this whole rad support, and then that bar, the top bar, will go straight across underneath and tie into the other side. So there's my top piece. I'm gonna basically cut all of this out and leave the top long. That way I have a cap for my pipe that comes up through here. And then that's all measured so I can cut and leave a little bit of space to weld. This one I already did. So I'm gonna cut this side out, put it all together. So I got this piece cut top of our cross member it's gonna go right from uh, that side to that side and you can see there I have a little marker line so I'm gonna cut that out right there so it lays right back in underneath that lip that's in there so we'll cut that out weld these up I want to get it all tack welded in the truck so that this is maintained so that it fits. Take it out, we'll weld it up full, and then I'll uh, put it back in, and then we can cut out this whole section here, making way more room for me to put stuff. So there we go, got it all in there, fabbed up. I'll take it out, weld it solid, do a little more trimming when I put it back in. And uh, we'll have us one new radiator mount. To get that steel in there clean, 
well it's a grind bunch um, clean that up real good and then uh, go back and put it in cut all the excess out I'm also gonna build my mounts for the front of the cab off of that as well so I got a nice sturdy mount instead of bolting that cab in the far bolting the fenders and the excuse me cross member up from underneath I'm gonna build a bracket off of the inside here down here and come over to the frame here and then gusset it that way I have a cab mount that bolts from the top down onto the top of the frame it's not in the way of that power steering pump which is the biggest thing is that power steering pumps in the way of everything there um, but I don't want to lose power steering on this guy um, make it a little easier to drive and, and everybody likes seven power steering when you got a little bit of horsepower it, it makes for an easier day um, but yeah we'll uh, get the rest of that for welded up put in the truck and then all cut out that's about it for this episode tune in comment subscribe if you like what you see tell your friends help me build my channel and uh, watch me build cool stuff and as always i appreciate every single one of you for tuning in and watching me build things i like to build if you have any comments or questions leave them below make sure you hit that subscribe button again like i said uh trying to build a channel help me out a little bit i appreciate you guys have a good one